when he's brought in. Why the politeness? Order him in. My way. You've got to be thorough and patient. He's not exactly... Gross, sir, is a good agent. Very good, I know. So he's worth waiting for. Nonsense. He's replaceable. If there's any doubt about him, he's finished. <laughs> yes, you said that about me once. Do you remember? Nothing came of it. You're afraid. No, afraid's the wrong word. You're not afraid of wrong decisions, but you're fearful of the correct ones. I don't know what you're on about. You're thinking, what if Cross is falling apart? We're two peas out of the same pod. If it could happen to him, it could happen to me. Reports on every dot and comma of his life appear on this desk every morning. Yes, Liz. Big men have to snivel sometimes, Hunter. Liz, hold it a minute. It's Mr. Bishop, sir. On two. Excuse me. Sir. Charlie? Sir. Come over. Might be very important. Yes, sir. Can you hold him here till I get back? Yes, I've enough arranged to be getting on with. Ever thought about an overwound watch? Has to be repaired. Mr. Snell, what gives you the right, professionally or personally, to jump to any conclusions? You're so field trapped, Hunter? Yes. That's how I know. You're quite right. Nothing is what it seems. How was she? How was uh, who? The little girl you clobbered over the head with your little gun butt. That was an accident. There's that thing, old son. Not in our tread. Still the same, is she? So I'm told. Pity? Yes. For both of you. So I'm told. Alive, she torments you. Nobody torments me, Toby. Not even you. Dead, she'd let us have you back. I haven't been anywhere. Quite right in your state. There's nothing wrong with me. You know, there's something rather sad, James, about people who keep saying, there is nothing wrong with me. You want it. It's yours. Why to leave it at home? I'm off duty. Never, old son. Never. Lev Leonidovich Vadim. Ilich Burov, Ukrainian. Family suffered under the Kulak repression. Lost his father in the German front. Solved his poverty by joining the secret service. Hatchet man, execution. A last seen in Prague. Was recalled when the Czech problems were solved. 45, still in the game. Hope for us all then. Levity is not the soul of wit, Hunter. Sir. Who is Vadim? Could be Burov. Lev Leonidovich Vadim, Ukrainian, Ukrainian party official. And he was lost. Reappeared five years ago as an official in the trade ministry. 45. Lights, please. Oh, didn't we check him when he came into the country? Vadim, yes. Nothing anybody knew against the lovely man. Been here a year, specialising tractors up the M1, does his job back down the M1 to lovely house in Highgate. Being watched by the uniform boyers, no trouble. Model trade missionary. If it is Borov, he's not here to buy tractors. If it is Borov, who's he after? Are they put him out to grass in this green and pleasant land. Now, what's the connection? Love letters. A girl who used to be friendly with Borov in Prague received a letter from England. Checked it out as far as we can. And the only two people who could be remotely fitted together without uh, makeup or drastic surgery. Burov and Vadim. I want him... them. Watched. And where is he? All in there. Who will you use? Cross or Mears? Oh, Mears will probably still be driving on the wrong side of the road after Washington. Why not Cross? Yes, when he's cleared. Goodbye. Oh, Snell. Anything else? Of course, it's none of my business. But no, sir.
All right. Six, rapid. Five. Mears, three bulls, three inners, cross, three bulls, three inners. All right, six rapid to the heart. Five. Mears, three bulls, three inners, cross, three bulls, three inners. Right, gentlemen, change over. Revolvers, please. Your target is one to the head, five to the heart. You will be timed on this. Are you ready? Five. Mears, 3.8 seconds, cross, 4.1 seconds. Right, that's your lot. Mears to the office. Well, there's nothing wrong with those figures. Life and death is often a matter of a split second. Have you ever killed anybody? Well, Mears is obviously sharp enough. So is Cross. Yes, it's not Mears I'm interested in. Mr. Mears is here, sir. All right, let's wheel him in. You're not coming down? No, no, no. I've got my job to do. You have got yours. Splendid. Now, it's still funny to see you sitting there, sir. Hilarious. Here you are. Read that lot. No orders? All in there. Read it outside, Toby. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Can't wait to get back to the telly, sir. Does that worry you? It was meant to, isn't it? Is it? Knowing you're observing, I might have been even more careful about showing any feelings. Obviously. Did you, uh, feel anything? No. I lie. Of course. Well, whose sick little mind thought that one up? Yours or Callan's? I did. No, Mr. Snell, I refused to respond. Good. Well, we'll find another way. Oh, dear. You will accept that if we discover that you are um, upset, it's best for you and for us that you're uh, replaced, perhaps. Now, in the course of duty, you inadvertently struck a 14-year-old Russian girl, Daniela Miedov, on the head. The blow resulted in brain damage. The girl is alive, severely paralyzed. You feel no pain? Remorse is rigorously excluded from any training schedule. Excluded or repressed? Well, we're taught control. Some do it by repression. Others manage to exclude it. Now, you've attempted to see her on three separate occasions. Why? I've never hit a child before. Would it be better if she were dead? Dear Mears said that. Am I being discussed by every bog clearer? Oh, don't feel persecuted. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. There's nothing wrong with me, Mr. Snell, but if you go on the way you are, you'll create something in me which I've been trained to exclude. That's what worries me. It's not what I did to Daniera. Why do you call her by a Christian name? Why? Well, you killed and felt no remorse. I'm not trained to feel. I am trained to kill. There is no feeling involved in killing, I ask you? Yeah, I can't define it. Then maybe we can define what your feeling might be about a girl who isn't dead. I've successfully completed two assignments in San Diego. Yes, what is it? Mr. Mayor, wants to know. Tell him to work. The Keller marriage. You drove a girl to suicide. Ah, uh -uh, no, we did. Callan and I. That was our job. There were good reasons. Ask him. Thomas Marlowe. Pushed under a train. Yeah, well, that was an accident. Oh, Daniela yeah, was an accident. They seem to be adding up, don't they? The death of Lady Lewis. Look, uh, I'm given an order. I don't theorize. Uh, and it's Callan who takes the responsibility. 
So I like hurting women, and uh, I hide behind Callan's skirts, and I'd shoot my own mother. That's good lad. You're prepared to run a lorry into him. My job is to find solutions, quick, effective, and with a minimum of uh, involvement for the section. Your brief association with Miss Marsh. You are capable of deception. But not self-deception. And Yaborski fell from a hotel window. You conveniently forget about Lubin. Ah, oh, you saved Callan's life. Then why is he trying to destroy mine? What exactly do you feel when you kill? Secure. I don't uh, wet my pants, I don't jump for joy. No, there's a security in killing to order. It's, uh, no, we are bad even though the order's sometimes ugly. And we make mistakes. <laughs> I'm no good if I can't live with an accident. You consider yourself ready to kill again? Yes. I don't believe you. Send me as in, Liz. All right. Vadim or Burov. I've read it. What do you want me to do about it? Sit down. Tell him. Now, as far as I can see, we've got two problems here. Is Vadim Burov one? And why is he here too? Now, let's concentrate on the second one. That way we might find out exactly who we're dealing with. Do you want me to lean on him? Look, if Vadim isn't a seller of tractors, you'd be very, better be very careful exactly where you lean, how you lean, or if, in fact, you lean at all, without a little help from your friends. We all need friends, don't we? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll be in touch. Do that. Well, I'm not sure, but there's something wrong. I want to see how this watch ticks. Or is the spring accidentally ready to snap? I want to test that control. I want Sato. So arrange it. Vadim. The other one's Cuthbertson. We've checked him out, sir. He's clean. We know where to get him if we need him. Stay with Cuthbertson. Don't let him see you. If he loses his temper, we don't need him anymore.
Randori. Enjoying it, are you, Snell? him <sighs> that fist blow a teamy it was a killer quite if I was in his position I'd use it to save my life so what does that prove he wants to live He's busy. I'll wait then. A look and a route. One look, and you're worried. No, no, I'm not worried. No, you'd have been worried if you'd have been there, but then you couldn't be, could you, sir? I mean, your desk barn now, put out to grass. Oh, uh, he worried you. Now, that worries me. Because a worried man is an inefficient man, right? Well, Vadim is no ordinary tractor salesman. His look is our look. Could be Borov. You were right about Vadim, though. I mean, the body electric, very trained. What's the route? The route is St. Neots, Stamford, Grantham, Newark, Worksop. A1. We're back down the M1, as usual. Did he see you going up? No. No, we changed cars too often. And then he makes sure that you see him see you. Liz? I want to speak to Mr. Bishop, urgently. Yes, sir. Pardon me? No. You're still very beautiful. 
Charlie desires immediate interview. Good. Come round. Right, Liz, you've got uh, Snell's file on Cross. Uh, sir. What are you doing here? You're still on sick leave. Uh, yes, sir. Why? That's why. That file's white. Well, since when? Liz! Oh, Snell's not important. We'd shoot him if he put a word out of place. Uro? Could be. Why? Vadim did two things yesterday. He went north on the A1, and then when Toby Mears was tailing him, he showed himself. Mm -hmm. now, I've been thinking. The A1 isn't too far away from Cambridge. Yeah. That poet fellow, is he still there? The one who defected? If he is after Trofimchak, why should he show himself? Well, perhaps he didn't. Toby surprised him. Anyway, if he knows we're on to him, he's bound to hurry up a bit. Trofimchak's Ukrainian. But why should Burov take a year over it? Oh, well, I'll have to have more operatives to tell you that, sir. He means cross, sir. Yes, I do. Have you by any chance read this? Mm. I mean, there's nothing in there that couldn't be true of a million men. But they're not agents. When can I have him back? You want him? I need him. Well? Well, I've finished all I have to for the present. It's all in there. Intellectual abilities, perceptual and spatial abilities, mechanical accuracy, motor responses and oh, so on. I can't wait while Snell knits words with that joker running wild. Now, if you want Cross back in the field, I'll authorise it. I want him off that white file. In my opinion, and nothing in there sings otherwise, Cross is not a hazard to the section. I recommend he stays on the file. I want him off. Tonight. All right, he's off, but he's your problem. He's always been my problem. Well, I shall continue my investigations, Hunter. You know that. All right, Snell, thanks. That quack even smiles like a breastfed Nazi. You mean he smiles? So, we move to Fimcha. Sir. Right. I want that white file torn up. It is. I don't believe you. You'll have to, son, won't you? Why? Look, much as I may dislike it, I happen to be on your side. What did uh, Snell say, sir? James, Mr. Snell is my advisor. He doesn't give me orders. He makes recommendations which I can choose to ignore, all right? Sit yourself down and read that lot. Liz? Yes, sir. Wheel in John the Baptist. Clinic open. Hang about, Toby, will you? Yeah? Right, what's our problem? Glad him knows me, yes. So I come off him? No. If you were Vadim, why would you show yourself? To uh, open it up. He knows Mears now. He can make him go on following him anywhere. He's a habit. He's hooked. Wherever Vadim goes, Toby won't be far behind. One operator out of the field. Let's just suppose that Burov is a decoy, huh? Now, if they want Trofimchuk dead before he publishes, they haven't got much time, have they? Because Vadim, what, he's been here a year already. When's his book due out? Monday fortnight. Why the stink of killing Trofimchuk when what he has to say will be published whether he's dead or alive? As a reminder, Toby, as a reminder, this exercise is not for export, it's for the fidgety comrades back home, all right? If we brothers can destroy a deserter in London, we can certainly kill one in Budapest, Leipzig and all three stations elsewhere. And do we want Burov dead? Let's just say that we want Trofimchuk kept alive. So. We move him to a place where we can keep a 24-hour watch on him. Your job. Well, why not put James on Vadim as Vadim knows me? Toby, you don't take a toy away from a kid if you want him kept happy, do you? You stick with him wherever he goes, right? Now, you report in every three hours, and starting tomorrow every hour. Toby, you take RT cars. 
All right? I know it's only hunches so far, but quite shortly, Varim is going to realise that we've moved Trofimchuk from Cambridge. And Burov's track record is rather grim. Twenty very, very dead people. I expect he sleeps well. Keep away from the window, please, sir. I ran away because I was trapped. And here, I'm trapped. And I ran away from the like of you. And here you are. The world is full of very small, identical experiences, isn't it? Soon it won't pay to run away. Every womb will have the same wallpaper and same books on the walls, Mr. Lever. Sir? Who is after me? Why do I have to travel 70 miles from Cambridge and not see the countryside? My job is to look after you, sir. Those are the words of a nurse. I'm not sick. I'm not ill. I am not afraid. In a free country, why should I be afraid? Are you afraid? Well, thank you. Ah. Tea or uh, port, sir, with the compliments of the warden. When you have tasted both, I shall decide. <laughs> you are not afraid. I scared you. <laughs> you are very brave or very stupid. <laughs> Life is short, my friend. Shall we drink the gift from the cloisters? Uh, no, sir. Not until it's been tested. Cut, so controlled, adult, comme il faut. Yes, sir. No, sir. Five bags full. Uh, three. I warn you, my friend. In Kiev, they call me the child poet, the pan who wouldn't grow up. Your words, what was right. The child is father of the man. Relax. When did you last? I don't know. Eat a meal, which wasn't always good. Or weep. Just Weep because the girl in your bed was so beautiful. Drink wine, cold wine in hot summer. Take off your clothes in a hurry. Shades of the prison house begin to close upon the growing boy. We are grown. We are dead. Prison. Nurse, have you felt that? Yeah. Yes, then take off your gun and play chess with me. While we wait. I don't play. Do you know either of these two men, sir? They ask me that at Cambridge. Oh, do you? They are trying to kill me. That's why I won't take off my gun. All right, put him through. Charlie. Vadim's leaving now, sir. Presumably he has an appointment up north tomorrow. Back to work. Oh, as long as he's going north, I'm happy. Looks as though we could be wrong, sir. Toby, the first time we're wrong, we're dead, right? Yes, sir. Sir, are you uh, sure about these faces? Russia has a population of many, many millions.
You act on orders. That's right. Would you kill me if you were ordered? Yes. It would have to be a very, very good order. Ah. You see, I would kill you to live myself. Genius is mean. I would kill because I am mean and I cannot write if I am dead. <laughs> Mother Russia breeds in me two laughing devils, Pushkin and Stalin. You talk too much. And your tradition produced you. Who is decadent? Perhaps there is only one way to best the system, Mr. Lever. And that is to take away from the good Lord the one move he leaves us. To do away with oneself. Suicide is the only one genuine philosophical problem. Yeah, I'm not a philosopher. But I'm not a believer. Make no mistake. You're a communist. I am communist. I don't believe in you. Uh, I hate you because I'm forced to run to you. I don't believe in you. I am in love with a dream. True communism with every Judas dead. Is a dream. And you, in your land of tea and port, you have no dreams. Your orders are not to leave me. So when I've gone, lock this door and only open it to me. No, 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 no. If you want to live to be mean, do it. Hello, Charlie. We're in the middle of a cock up. The car we are following took petrol at Doncaster and it's not that. Well, how do you know? Well, we checked the boots and the back seat. We used ID cards. They're very annoyed, sir. Toby, I do hope this isn't going to flare into an incident. Instructions, sir. Stay there, hold them, wait till I call you. Right, sir. I want to speak to Cross. Red alert. Yes. I want cover at the embassy, Highgate, everybody else, right around the college. Their orders are they can shoot if necessary. Sir. Liz, get on with it. Go on. What? Cross has been shot, sir. He's dead. Awaiting instructions, sir. What about Trevimchuk? He won't open the door, sir. But he is answering, so he's still alive. Don't let anybody touch anything. I'm coming over. Is that wise, sir? We don't know if that sod's still on the roof. Well, then check it! Forensic over there at college as soon as possible. Get in touch with Bishop and tell him to come look after the shop. Keep the law out. Y you can't go out, sir. It's against. I'm your going, Liz. I am going. If poor office in London. I want him. I really want him. Right, you tell Toby to hold on to those blokes because they are the only leads we've got. He can use any methods he likes, but I want information and I want it fast, all right? Good girl.
We've gone on to Red Alert, sir. Red Alert, right. Sir? Hunter has left the office. He's what? Yes, sir. Up there. Were you up there? Two of us, sir. He'd gone. Little girl, did she see anything? Not really, sir. Man with white hair, she said. Small beard. That's enough. We've kept the uniformed mob out, sir. There were two bloody rings around this place. How did he get in? How did he get out? Why don't you get this lot sorted out? Report to me later. Please, the poet's room. Yes, sir. Tears, it's a fact. Did you see anything? No. Did you hear anything? Only a few feet on the roof tiles and Mr. Lever falling and hitting the stones. Where did he go out? The child from down there cried there was someone on the roof. And? There were no words. Only one shot. I rushed to where I hoped it would be bored off. How do you know the name? Mr. Lever gave you faces, not names. I know, Burov. What about the, uh, the other man, the other photograph here, Vadim? I have never seen him before. Right, tell me about Burov. I am home again. I have no time, sir, no time. I am, was, secretary of the writer's circle near Kiev. One of Burov's jobs before he disappeared. To Prague? Oh, yes. Yes, that fits. He was sent to Ukraine. He was sent to the Ukraine to investigate our religionism. As writers, he has the tact and threat of a wildcat. Four members of my committee were classified insane. But they allowed you to come here. They knew my book was ready. I knew I could not publish. So, let me go. I haven't the courage of Salznitschin. I can't say. So if I publish abroad, I am discredited, dead. Your publishers do their job for them. Who of my people want to read someone who betrays his country and publishes abroad? No, I am not yet used to human death. I think I shall not publish. Oh, I think perhaps you'd better. For Mr. Lever. Why do you think that Burov waited a whole year before attempting to kill you? I made a fool of him once in Kiev. We blew smoke in each other's faces. Perhaps he's savouring the thought. Yes, yes. Bring your coat and your bag. And your pen. Waiting clearance from you, sir. Little girl, tell you anything more? No, sir. All clear here, is it? Yes. All right, take Cross and Mr. Fimchuk back to Lambert House. Lambert. 
Jones. Telephone Liz. Tell her I'm on my way. Anything from special branch, uniform? No, Mr. Mayor's on the artist, sir. He's been calling in every five minutes. All right, put him through and bring your pencil. Put that phone down, Callum. Mayors. Sir. You are relieved of your duty. Cross, remember? He's dead. Look, Cross is my responsibility. You said so yourself. You can have my guts later on, but now let me get on with my job, will you? Very well. We'll talk about this later. Yes, sir. Mears. We're very comfy, sir. My friend's ready to talk. All right, hang on. You're going to make lots of nice noises, aren't you, brother? Yes, uh, 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 I can hear it. I take uh, it we're not afraid of incidents uh, now, are we, sir? No, not now. Jolly good. Super. Uh, uh, uh. Right, what have you got? Uh, he confirms one thing. Vadim and Borov are the same person. Does he know where Borov is? No, he was just told to stand in and get taken for a ride. Toby, I want your friend's name, quick. Ra Radovic. Radovic, sir. Hang on. Have you um, cut off the south? Of course. M1A1? Uniform are doing it now. Right, listen, Toby, find out their route going north to get out. Well, the usual northern route is north to Aberdeen, then trawl out to their fishing fleet. Mears? Well, we'll have to hurry, sir. He's going. Toby, I want every single address they use as a stage on their way out. Yes, sir. I can't just sit in there and do nothing. Liz, every file we've got, embassy files on, uh, on contacts, business, personal, social, we, we need addresses like we need blood. Sir, 14 Gavana Road, Ely. Does that mean anything to you? No. Keep going. 31 Churchwood Grove, Northampton. 31 Churchwood Grove, Northampton. 14 Governor Road, Ely. The Shambles, Kings Lynn. 31 Churchwood Grove, Shambles, Northampton. Kings Lynn. Evans, the Ely one. 91 Little Street, Wigan. Wigan, Wigan. Probably the wrong side of the country. Kings Lynn, that's Helen Mortimer. No, she's inside. Well, she's lucky, isn't she? Hang on. You got the Wigan one yet, Liz? Wigan's handy. Right, Toby, go on. Lilac Farm Workshop. Lilac Farm Workshop. Brian Lindley, sir. Sir, that says that's the one. That's the address of uh, Cuthbertson, the farmer friend that Vanny. Here it is. Right, listen, Toby. I want you to get over to Lilac Farm as soon as you can. Well, you've got everything you can get out of that man. Now, if Burroff is there, make sure he bloody well stays there. You want to contact me? I'm on my way north in a, in a radio car, right? Right, sir. There's another one, sir. Right. 34 Monday Street, Aberdeen. 34 Monday Street, Aberdeen. Uh, What's happening? Cross has been shot at the college. He's dead. I'd say he's committed suicide. That's it, sir. He's gone, sir. Sir. No, thank you. I have to drive back very soon. Oh, come on, buddy. We can't waste it. No, I must insist. I'll put it there in case you change your mind. And uh, thank Mrs. Cuthbertson for such a short notice. Ginny, thought you made a good meal. Ginny? Oh, I must say this is a surprise. Saves me traipsing in tomorrow to see you. I thought you blokes weren't allowed out after dark. We are a very mysterious and unpredictable race, Alec. <clears throat> I like Russia, I always have. I still say your lot betrayed a revolution. If I'm called away tomorrow, you still think arrangements made are satisfactory? Mm, you deliver and I'll be satisfied. It's kind of you to worry. Oh, Blast, excuse me. Oh, incidentally, if you should be called away tomorrow, uh, what... He's coming out. Rudolph!
one dull sepia beat. Kill. K kill. Kill something. He said he let me kill him. I'll make out the report. I'll give it to Mr. Bishop. <laughs> oh, good blood. Here. Oof. Do you reckon I could break my neck, Mr. Cannon? Just yawning. Hey? I'll tell you a story, lonely mate. Not that you'll ever understand it. Do you know, I once had a drink with an executioner. Did you know that? See, we were on a job together, this bloke and I. We were on a firing squad. Brrrr! And ten little yellow bodies accidentally fell. And he, he said to me, he said, uh, Yeah, you're feeling sick, mate. I see, I'm sick. I'm feeling sick, all right. He said, I wouldn't want you on my side, you know, not in a barroom fight. I said, why not? He said, because if those... Little fellas, mums and dads came rushing in and tried to start something. You'd pitch in, wouldn't you? I said, yeah, I'll, I'll pitch in. I wouldn't. He said, not me, mate. I'd do anything. He said, I'd give him a drink. I'd walk away. I'd do anything. Anything. To stop them tapping that deep, bloody deep well of his own violence. <laughs> now, well, he knew, you see. He knew that I'd go off. Light years too early. I would have too. <laughs> he was the hardest man I've ever met. Oh, she was hard. So I... I learned to be like him, didn't I? I'm sorry, cross. Sorry, cross. I... sustained myself with my hardness. And so did Cross. <laughs> oh. Do you know if one of us cracks? We all could. We all could, because there is an ugly black streak. Bloody deep. Bloody deep. And he's welling up in the likes of us. And holding it down, you see, holding it down, that's what makes us good at our jobs. That's what makes us good at our jobs. God. You, mate. I don't know what job to live with it, to control it. You train until every second is your enemy. Cross didn't crack up, just forgot his training, didn't he? Bloody split second. You forgot training. You left the office. Cross was killed. Might have been a field. You aren't in the field anymore. Secondly, you killed a man you weren't authorized to. The first time, Hunter, that Snell or I can recall you doing so. Cross was killed. This section kills selectively, Callan. You killed unnecessarily. We're happy that Boroff is dead. We shan't lose any sleep over it. But you can hardly stay on in your job. Boroff killed Cross. Cross wanted to die. You know, you must be joking. Oh, Boroff himself hinted as much to you. Did you believe it? No, not necessarily. But do you want evidence? Page 47. It's marked. There are 17 other books marked in exactly the same way. 
Same preoccupation. Suicide. The only problem was how. The spring was ready to snap, Callan.